Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Vampire. And we are in our haven here in Whitechapel, guys. We're going to go uh, talk to Nurse Crane, but before we do that, thank you very much for letting me know in the comments that I actually missed a document. Let's go ahead and track that down. I mean, we've got quite a few of them. So let's see what we missed here. We've got job refusal, Darius's letter, editor refusal letter. Here we go. A refusal letter sent to Richard Nithercott. Psychophant Publishing, LTD, Lavender Court, Camden Street, London. Dear Mr. Nithercott, thank you for sending your book of poems, Songs from the Defeated City, which we found as interesting and profound as we told you the first time we received it. Alas, in the terrible times our country is currently facing, you must understand that such title would be totally inappropriate for any publication. Thus, since you still refuse to change your title and demand the full publication or none of your work, I'm sorry to announce you that Psychophant Publishing chose the second option. With kindest regards, A.G. Morris. How dare they impede an artist's work. <laughs> oh, we got a new hint available for Richard. Stellar. Well, I think the first... What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and rest. We're going to see... We're going to um, pump up our powers. we got almost 2,000 XP, or about 1,800. And let's see here. Rage, we get... Ooh, we get ultimates at level 10. We're at level 9 right now. What should we upgrade? Probably our, our heal... Yeah. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. And that puts us at level 11. And how much does it cost for an ultimate? A thousand? Ah. Okay. Rage. Some abilities are so powerful that even vampires fear them. Rage is one of them. The vampire loses control and unleashes the beast within to do their dirty work. The beast teleports itself on targets around them, striking with unfettered fury. Because of its dark nature, this type of ability cannot be used too often. Just release the beast, my friend. It's more satisfying than you think. So it's a controlled frenzy. Then we got Abyss. You create a shadow vortex at your target's feet. Coming to life, the shadows interrupt an enemy in the area and inflict tremendous damage. So heavy-duty obfuscate. Uh, the shadows capture the vampire's prey and toys with it like a cat with a mouse. After a brief moment, the shadows strike, impaling their prey. And then Blood Cauldron. Which is uh, Thaumaturgy 5, I believe. Or P Path of Blood 5. The vampire concentrates and makes the victim's blood boil. Through this process, the vampire will regenerate and absorb part of the target's blood. The vampire will release their prey after a few seconds, leaving damaging blood cells within them. These cells will continue to impact their host before exploding after a short time. The blast will affect any living creature near the host. Because of its dark nature, type of ability cannot be used too often. Oh, we're going to have to think about that. For sure. Spend zero XP to reset skills. Well, we went with Shadow Veil. We had Blood Barrier. We decided not to go for Shadow Mist. Blood Spear, Claws. Oh, I don't know which ultimate we need to go with. They're, all of them sound good. Oh, well. Well, we'll go ahead and confirm. I think being able to heal a little bit better, especially with the way I play, is uh, pretty sound. Oh, look at that. And we are now stable. Now you have a cold and you still have a migraine. Actually, you have two ailments that right now... Your actions have impacted the borough's economy. The prices and stocks of the merchants in this district may have changed. That's handy to know. Holy crap. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead. Look at that yellow stable district. Do we have a treatment for a cold? Yes, we do. No treatments for a migraine yet. And maybe we can go ahead and find Prince Charming. Cure his cold. And, uh... Maybe kill him? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We gotta go talk to Richard. 
We gotta go find Prince Charming and then we'll go talk to Nurse Crane. We got a person right there. There's Harry in the house. We've got rats. Where would that guy be? Barrett Lewis. Okay, Harry's up there. Father Tobias, the You are blinded by your false faith. Clayton, who's feeling better? No, Henry's back here. Camellia, XP. Oh wow, 5,000 XP right off the bat. You just have to have a 5 and mesmerize. That's impressive. I think we're probably going to get that argument from him that we don't want, you don't good impede evening, an Mr. artist. Nibicott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Ooh. You don't really make a living from your scribblings, do you, Richard? No, sir, I don't. I work so hard. I put all my time, my energy, my devotion into the precise carving of words. Still, you don't seem to suffer from poverty. With thanks to my parents, actually. I'm afraid I would not be able to live on my own without their help. You seem embarrassed. Someday I hope to proudly offer my first publication to my parents. Until that day, I'll remain the failure of a son they have to support. Oh, that sucks. Did you know the Mute Florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. Uh-huh. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nethercote. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. All right, that's fair enough. I'll leave you alone, sir. And we, his XP is now, his blood quality is maxed. We could become so powerful in this game so quick by just killing people. And that's the, that's the temptation. That's what we have to, have to try to avoid, I suppose. Now Clayton still has some, and I'm looking at their blood quality. <laughs> I really shouldn't be, but I am. And Joe still has a little bit. And I said that the vendors changed. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Right then, show me what you have. Aluminum powder, shard, and just materials. Common trigger parts. Okay. I'm wondering if the lady has more of the cordial or cordial. There's Cadigan. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? In Whitechapel, what an opportunity. My name's Bates, Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, because I say a live tenant's a paying tenant. Well, that's callous, but it's not wrong. It's unusual to see someone so happy around here, especially considering the current situation. Why should I be sad now? 
There've always been wars, disease, tragedy. There always will be. That's an unusual way of seeing things in these trying times. I don't see why I should shed a tear for another man's woes. I'm healthy and I intend to stay so. But you have a cold. What is your business exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest price to the poor and weary of Whitechapel. I see. And what about those who cannot pay? Well, deals can be done, if you know what I mean. Money is not the only currency. After all, I'm not immune to a pretty face. Oh, yeah. We probably will kill him. In other words, you take advantage of these poor lost souls. Begging your pardon, I thought you was a man who could appreciate the complexity of the modern world. Things ain't just black and white, you know. Yeah, no, that's that's not how you legitimize that argument. Tell me, what's your honest opinion of the increasing violence in London? People are just beginning to discover what we've always known. This city's rotten to the core. They just took their bloody time to wake up and notice it. What do you mean? People are acting like the violence is news. But it's always been savage down here. It just bubbles to the surface every now and again. What help could I possibly be to your business? That's simple. I already get good money from all those fleeing the war. Can you imagine what they'd be willing to pay if I could offer medical assistance to... Mr. Bates, do not make me regret saving your life in this quarantine zone. Too late. I understand, Dr. Reed, you're from a good family. Don't want to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I'll be happy to act as your middleman. Well, with you, I prefer to get my fangs dirty. I'm no saint, but to take advantage as you do, you are a despicable man who could only prosper in these dark times. So it's a no then. That's too bad. The reed tonic could have really helped people, you know, save lives. Isn't that what you do? I mean, people buy that swamberer's shit. That is true. We need to deal with that as well, I would think. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. She's a nurse. What can you tell me about her? Dorothy Crane, bless her soul. I really should thank her someday. Tell me truthfully, why are you so thankful? By keeping my tenants alive, she's making me a rich man. Every month they live, it's more coin in my pocket. Has she treated you? No. When I need a checkup, I'd go to a bloody doctor. Not some back alley clinic full of sick foreigners. And personal questions. You seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. Savages. Absolute bloody savages. Their appearance. Jesus. That made me want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. I want to know everything about the recent violence, Cadogan. And I want the truth. Well, rent may be a bit high, and yeah, I've had to evict a few people. But that's business, isn't it? That could be very an, inter an interesting kind of take on the skulls. Like they are ghosts. I, I, I said before that I, I dug the vibe of vampirism being if the will is strong enough, they would come back after a feeding. But the thought that a skull, who is still kind of savage and feral, would focus on the last thing that tormented them, such as Cadigan Bates here, that's a cool combination of the vampire and the ghost myth. So. Sir, so I wish I had found you a few nights later than I did. Or maybe never at all. Death would have been a well-deserved punishment for your villainy. Yeah, but you saved me, didn't you? And you'd do it again, because you're a decent chap. Just know I'm not. Take this as my final warning. You will not profit from the misery of others. Business is one thing, but what you do is quite another. Really? What you gonna do? You ain't from here. You ain't Whitechapel, Doctor. You wouldn't know the first thing about playing dirty, even if you wanted to. <laughs> 
Well, the first thing we're going to do is... Since I took an oath to help people, can I be of assistance? Well, seen better days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. We'll give him the medicine, get that blood quality up to snuff. Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this in any case. What? You give me this for free? Don't have a clue about this place, do you? Goodbye, Mr. Bates. All right. Well, now for some violence to get the get what I'm feeling out of my system. Whoa, where did he go? Oh, just walked right by me. Master of stealth, he is. So he's in there. Darius is. It's time that we go ahead and have a chat with Dorothy. And I still think that this is gonna. There's gonna be a fight in here. There's just no reason for this to be isolated. Hello? Find Dorothy in the dispensary. Hello, folks. Clove essence. Texts. Ooh, we've had some fatalities. And some shillings. Oh, someone may have been turned. Can you hear my voice? She up there. Ooh. Okay, unknown blood quality. Someone's gone feral. We're gonna have to go put him down. Hi, Dorothy. Give me a moment. I need help. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Raz Van Vasily. High fever, running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment. Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalpel. Hand me that scalpel. Tracheotomy? What can I do, doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, doctor. None at all. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, doctor. Battlefield medicine. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy? Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. This is tense. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? Oh. I can't see. Okay. Um... I must first suture the artery. 
Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! Snack time. Okay. Cardiac massage, now. Cardiac... what? Are you making this up as you go along? Maybe. I bet we didn't have the drug either. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Yes, indeed. He's going to pop right up and attack us, isn't he? I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. You are correct. I'm here to uh, raid your clinic and then so have a chat. It's locked, all right. I thought he s she said, what do I owe this cutscene? <laughs> I was just like, wow. This is an unfitting place for the illustrious Dr. Reed. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Hmm... Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. He's becoming attuned to the loneliness and the hunger, at least. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? I will look away, but you resign? Charm. You will forget all about this? Embrace. I'm ending this right now. So, embracing is killing. Not not the uh, VTM style, create another vampire thing. Because that would, that would be kind of cool. But, um... So we're not definitely not going to kill her. Charming seems interesting, but it's one of those things that she'll forget. She'll forget about everything that she's doing here and more people will die. 
So maybe let's let's go ahead and spare her. She's I mean her heart's in the right place. Her head may not be. But yeah, let's go ahead and spare. That's cool that it gives us a third option though. No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice then. No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange Fair and honest to help finance your noble endeavors. Yeah, it's much better than the last two options you had. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. Interview with the vampire. New citizens available to kill. Ooh. The district will soon suffer the consequences of your action. That's foreboding. And Dorothy has a blood quality of 2,400. Can we say hello? It's locked. It's locked. Not at the moment, then. Report to Lady Ashbury. Oh, yeah, she's probably not going to be... Ha well, no, we stopped the blackmail. She didn't say we had to kill her. So... That... Oh crap. Oh, this one stinks already. It's one of them. Okay, I tried to stun. No! Down you go. So the vampire hunters have arrived. Oh wow, he killed the two that were right here. Yowza. I knew there was going to be a scrap out here. And if you guys are just going to hang out, then... Crush the leech! Uh-huh. Oh! Nice. Let's get our stamina back. Okay, shotgun guy probably needs to die first. Ooh. Oh, you can hit your buddies! How neat. I did not know they could do that. Friendly fire is not. Whoa! Thank you, friend. Lead plate. Bullets. Place the ones I lost. Alright, let's go check on Crane again. She may have already locked herself up, but this guy. Oh, they could have grabbed everybody. Hell's bells. It's almost getting to the point that if you're infected with the plague, you're you're just dead. Period. Because if the plague won't kill you, the hunters will. Because they don't want to take any chances. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if... Is Daria still alive? I heard someone talking. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Oh. Alright, I guess we're in good shape. So I think this is a good place to go ahead and end the episode, guys. We need to report to Lady Ashbury and let her know that the uh, blackmail has been dealt with. And go analyze this blood sample and see what exactly the nature of that uh, man's death was. But I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. 
subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.